Hello, my name is Dr. Porter McRoberts. Here with me is Dr. Paul Wu. Hi. We're interventional physiatrists here in South Florida. Today I'm going to ask Dr. Wu to show us how he does a facet joint nerve block. Okay, uh, so just a little bit uh, uh, walk you through what happened. You're actually looking at procedure room. Once you come to us, first thing we're going to do is actually have you send a uh, few paperwork, including consent, talk, you know, have some uh, education regarding what facet joint nerve block. Then you're going to be wheeling into this room from the uh, recovery or pre-procedure area, and we're going to have you lay on the table. Uh, and this is an actual table, actual uh, C arm, which is a radiolo uh, radiologic uh, equipment. And uh, and I'm going to have you come closer, and then we'll uh, take you know show you exactly what is a facet joint nerve block. So this is the needle we use. It's a 25 gauge, very thin needle. And this is an actual needle, and uh, for most part, I think, as far as I'm aware, a lot of times this is actually what this is actually smaller than most practice. Yes. Things. Usually, they use a 22. Thin is in. We love that. And you can see this is fairly thin. So uh, the facet joint is right in the spine. This, assuming this is your spine or patient's spine, and uh, uh, the facet joint, uh, two things: facet joint nerve block. The nerve is actually coming around here, going through around here, and kind of course around, and this is actually a facet joint. So what we'll do is under x-ray, uh, we'll numb the area well, with, uh, an est with a lidocaine usually, and uh, uh, periodically we're gonna advance slowly. Each time we move a needle or touch a needle, uh, we will use a, a fluoroscopy to show the uh, direction of needle. Typically when we do this, at the same time, we will numb you concurrently uh, with a syringe on the back, and we'll come slowly, come slowly, come slowly, Come slowly until if we're doing nerve block, it will be right around this area. And we confirm that with an x ray, we inject the medication, and then just withdraw and then go for another level if we have to. Uh, sometime, uh, if we were to do a, a facet joint injection, intra articular injection, which is between these two bones here, and again, under fluoroscopy uh, 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 guidance, we'll come slowly, uh, we'll usually touch a bone, and then slowly walk over there. and. Uh, uh, put the med uh, medication inside the joint and then withdraw. Uh, and the whole process take about uh, five minutes, maybe five ten minutes. Usually not long. And uh, comfort for patients usually is uh, most people really sometimes they don't not even aware that this is happening. Sedation is not necessary. No sedation. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very easy to have something like this. The pain's a um, zero to a one usually. Usually, and uh, usually people feel immediately uh, better. Right. Afterwards. Thanks. Thank you.